Get, get in the first big Get three, Pyro! Get three with the- Wade Kid putting on a clinic? Whole team's down- Oh! <laughs> Good evening, Tranquility community, and welcome to tonight's feature match in the Harmony tier. We bring you two teams tonight. We have number six, Firefight, fresh off of a tough loss here in the winner's bracket last week against Chrysalis. And we have Luminous Foxes coming in here after a victory last week's featured here on Tuesday night against Strix. It's the number four, Luminous Foxes, versus the number six team, and that is firefight i'm mr yeti joining me tonight we have ty monster ty how you doing i'm gonna be honest for once i'm having a very mixed good and bad day good because i had some good stuff happen earlier and then bad because overwatch 2 is delayed i'm not getting into that yeah we're not gonna go you know there's lots of reasons to be bummed today as an overwatch fan but tonight's let's, match let's push those aside we're gonna push those aside and we're gonna instead enjoy a fantastic match we're bringing in again two teams here the number four luminous foxes they were featured last week and they took on Strix, and that was a strong win for the Foxes. I believe a 3-0 for the Luminous Foxes after losing to Strix in the regular season. A big answer for the Foxes as well. And then Firefight coming in here in week one, or in the first round of the playoffs, they had a big upset against Vanguard, who had been on quite the uh, run through the winners, or through uh, their, B their B pool in stage two. Uh, your thoughts on these two teams coming in, Ty? I mean, unfortunately, normally I do plenty of research before we get into the match today. I was lazy. I forgot. I'm dumb. But what I do know is, considering the fact that Firefight lost against, you said it was Chrysalis, correct? Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. So Chrysalis, I don't think there's anybody who would be surprised to see Chrysalis beating anyone except for maybe flashbacks. Mm -hmm. But even aside from that, and maybe Koala Kings, but let's not worry about yeah, that. Well, yeah, I, th yeah. I think I think Chrysalis is solidly a top three team in Harmony right now, so that makes perfect sense to me. And Firefight coming in here should probably have at least a little bit of advantage considering they do take down top a third-seeded team in Vanguard Spartans, even though Vanguard Spartans aren't the best third-seeded team. They're still a very respectable team, and being able take them out is a very good start for firefight mm -hmm. and luminous fox is coming off of a more recent w might give them a little bit more momentum even though you know they have beaten easier opponents still the fact that they're coming off of a w from their last match in general is good momentum good mental coming into this match so it's really up to whether or not firefight can keep a good mental coming into this match i don't think it's going to be too much of a problem because you lost to chrysalis true it's true. Both these both these teams, it's their last chance in the playoffs in the loser's bracket. One dream ends tonight, and another one continues and carries on next week in the loser's bracket finals, where the winner of that is going to go over to the championship bracket coming up very soon. It's a first to three format tonight, and we're going to start it off on Li Zhang here, and we're taking it to my personal favorite Li Zhang map of choice, and that is Control Center bringing out the brawl comps ty i love it i love oh, it. it i actually watched them both bring out like wrecking ball comps or something like that no I mean, no this, I... this is harmony tier of course they're running bro <laughs> of of course and they're going to be running the same exact composition because like color forms going to be starting we don't know about committing on the moira but this makes perfect sense you know ryan junkrat sim lucio bap no surprises there diva from both sides might be a little bit of a, of a surprise but diva is just such a consistently good hero all the time yeah. That making an argument for anybody else, even Sigma, who in this situation is genuinely incredible, is a really tall task. Plus, D.Va can be fantastic at mitigating a ton of spam here and 
We are all oh. here in this do or die match. And unfortunately for 38, it's die as he, <laughs> he falls at the outset here on that Baptiste. And that's a ton of healing out the door now for Firefight, not the start that they wanted here. And their tank line goes down quickly to the barrage from Jerry Ozone from Luminous Foxes. Jerry Ozone, a lot will remember from that Firefight Championship team last season. Uh, so a big push there early on from uh, the uh, from Luminous Foxes, and they take point one, quite frankly, with ease. Yeah, that, that's just an unfortunate situation if you're Firefight. 38 jumping off the map. It, the worst part about that is you don't have any flex support ult charge coming into this fight. You didn't get that healing last fight. You shouldn't have even committed, to be honest, if you see your Baptiste die like that. You see your Baptiste, it's a brutal situation there when your Bap goes down. Here we go again, Antagonize trying to lead the charge for Firefight here onto the point, but again, Jerry Ozone putting in so much pressure here on that Junkrat, takes Antagonize down as Ace Laser 38 can't keep Antagonize up. And we see Lin or Linite trying to charge up that beam here and get up to speed for Luminous, but quite frankly, they're not really having to do a whole lot right now because Jerry Ozone has pumped in so much damage onto the front line here. Uh, Carlton trying to find a way to spin it around here as we get the wall invested here from Psy. Psy does find Lionite, so they're starting to turn this around a little bit. Teleporter now down for uh, Luminous Foxes. We see the self-destruct come in from Nerf, only connecting with Rage's mech. The uh, sound barrier comes in from Ace Laser. This fight continues as Jerry Ozone pops the Rift Tire, looking for targets, finds five! including the Rift Tire! Including the Tire, Jerry Ozone counters an ultimate and wipes a team in a single burst. And Jerry Ozone leads Luminous 69% and counting. Nice. Giving some great credit to Carlton there. He was actually booping around Booze like a mother trucker. Booze was having a terrible time getting knocked all over the place from concussion mines. Carlton was doing such a good job of disruption, but now these staggers are brutality. You cannot be dying in your spawn room like that. I don't know why I said spawn room. You can absolutely not. Carlton dropping early there. It's brutal right now. 91%. This is the last gas for Firefight on what has been a brutal map from start to finish. Lineite finds Antagonize, and it's just the stagger coming in now from Rage, trying to get to the point with that self-destruct and remek, and just cannot. A dominant, dominant first map for Luminous. I'm just going to say this, the same thing I've said in the past. I, I have growing a little bit of a reputation of being brutal and I'm going to be brutal. That could not have looked worse for Firefight. They kill one of their players kills themselves at the start. They're not taking advantage of their the difference of having a Baptiste versus a Moira where you get to play slower, you get to have invincibility, which is great. You know, invincibility, who would have thought that's a pretty cool cooldown. But <laughs> the, it's the problem is fi Firefight are just playing poorly. There's no other way to say it. They are all around playing bad, and I don't right. like to use objective terms like that, but they're just playing badly, and they made a Fox, lot of Luminous Foxes. Yeah. Luminous Foxes look good, and that's really just how simple it comes to sometimes. Alright, Firefight gonna look to bounce back here, bringing out the Sombra and the Diva uh, as well, going for that rush comp here. Really, just a mirror from both sides, as we can see yet again, both sides obviously doing their homework. Cucumber finds the boop onto the D.Va. Again, a brutal start here for Firefight as Luminous comes out with all the momentum right now. The hack goes out and Booze is just wiping the floor, punching through Firefight here on that Winston. And Booze leads the way for Luminous taking the first cap here on Gardens. I mean, Luminous Foxes, all the lights on them right now, they are playing to a T. Even, even just despite the fact that their opposition looks like they're just underperforming at this exact moment, they're still playing so, so well. They're playing so stacked. It's really just an overall, there's not one thing to point out. They're just playing better all around. And they are right now. Firefight's gonna try to bounce back here. You cannot count out this team at all they just pull up some big upsets here and we're gonna see if they can turn this thing around here antagonize getting awfully close to that primal rage but color form finds ace laser taking out that lucio losing a good chunk of their healing right now antagonize pops the primal rage bouncing around on the point looking for targets jerry ozone looking for the opportunity maybe to throw in that emp looks like they're gonna hang on to it here likely a wise choice for jerry ozone as lionite finishes off rage and a good fight again for Luminous. They're 50% counting. Firefight's got to find an answer. They got to find it quick. 
about as ideal as it can get for Luminous Foxes. You invest the fastest charging ult that your team has, coalescence, and nothing from the other side comes out. Or nothing else from you guys comes out, I should say. The other team uses Primal Rage and Coalescence into your into your Coalescence alone. Both teams have EMP, but only one has Sound Barrier. Luminous Foxes look like they are going to be dominating the rest of this round as long as they have the slightest semblance of an ult economy. Here comes the self-destruct in from Nerf, not finding anything that time. 38 is hacked out, and EMP comes in, does not actually find anything here. Or actually just finds Cucumber, pardon me. Rage pops himself, the Struck takes down Color Form, and the spin to win from Lionite takes down Psy. Right now, just the trades are ongoing, but the trades will favor Luminous. The Sound Barrier comes in to guarantee and lock down the point here for Luminous. And the last gasp here from Psy, is it going to be enough? It is not. And that is a dominant statement map for Luminous Foxes. They go up 1-0 in this match. I mean, I just blinked. I don't. I don't. I barely even know what happened in that map. It was just luminous foxes. They they couldn't have been more dominant in that round. They had everything under control. It never felt like they were slipping at all, except for the one time that they had one pick on taboos. That was it. That was the only time they had any advantage whatsoever. And outside of that, it was just dominance, dominance, dominance coming out from luminous foxes. And they're punishing every flaw in play, the play of Firefight. It's just not even close. It's right now Firefight is looking for an answer. Again, you can't count out this team. We've seen them climb back into nearly impossible situations before, and you can't count them out here moving on. They will have the next map pick. They'll be able to pick the Assault map. Could be an opportunity for them to help turn the tables here as Luminous did get first pick today as the higher seed and did take Li Zhang. So you can't count out Firefight yet, but Luminous Fox is looking real good early on here. Firefight going to need to come up with an answer. Maybe, just maybe, try not to start off by jumping off the map on Baptiste. Yeah, that's helpful. But, you know, the, the oddity that the worst team loses control, I feel like it's nullified when that team also does it in 200 zeros, 100 zeros. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I've, I've been proven wrong many a times on casting. In fact, frequently as I'm speaking, I'm incorrect because caster curses just... They just, it's a just real thing. That, that's just all that happens with me. It's sometimes. a real like, thing. We're gonna have to, yeah, it's a real thing. But do you think they can make <laughs> a comeback on Temple? I and honestly, I, I, again, I like I've said before, I've seen Firefight come back in crazy situations. This team is a surprisingly good team for a six seed. We have seen them uh, clutch up in very tough situations, win really tough matches, and. To be quite frank, I think a lot of people underestimate Firefight when they've seen them. I know I've talked to some of the top teams who have played Firefight, and they say this team should not be underestimated. They are, in fact, a very, very good team. And the key thing for them is going to be the mental bounce back. Like you said, you dropped the first pep. You didn't even take a point of percentage. How do you bounce back from that mentally? You know, Anubis can be a really good map if you're playing some sort of kitschy strat. If you're running some sort of opportunity with a junk rat, maybe a Torbjorn, heck, you can even bring up the Sim Bastion. There's a lot of different ways to play this. I think this is a good opportunity. If Firefight has something in their pocket that they can play with, it could be a good opportunity for them to really take it to the Luminous Foxes. Considering the fact that you, if, if what you said earlier is true, that Crystal's 3 0'd Firefight, then that's the fourth map they have lost in a row. Mm -hmm. And if the, the, their match against Crystal's was anything like I would guess a match against chrysalis would go for any seed below number one that the, those maps probably weren't close either and i hate to be sounding like i'm just trying to make firefight sound bad i'm not but it's really just them being in an unfortunate situation where they are they're out of the driver's seat right now and they need to try and wrestle control back over the situation because if it get if this map goes south it, it could just be curtains right then and there I agree. It can absolutely be curtains, but it's all about the bounce back right now for Firefight. Can you mentally return here uh, to come back and take this one? We see them coming out again. And that looks like double bubble with the Cassidy and the Hanzo now for Firefight here on the attack. And this attack is going to be critical because we talked about the mental. How do they bounce into this? Antagonize goes in and is just melted immediately. Commercial and Jerry Ozo just so much damage onto the Winston. There was never a shot here. Carlton does pick up booze. A little overextension from the Winston could hurt them here. If there's and the DMAC on the nerf, that's actually massive. If they can get that.
that pick on it. They just cannot, not quite on a Jerry Ozone. But with spawn advantage right now, the cards have definitely shifted to Firefight's favor. Going into a fight where the enemy team does not have their mech, you're diving on them good. That, that's good. That's good. Psy Great takes out pick from Psy. Huge pick. But Antagonize goes down again. That is, there is something going on there where Antagonize has a disconnect with the healers or something because that is the second time we've seen them get bursted down very quickly. Psy comes out with the Dragon Strike, putting in some damage. And 38 on the Ana, getting some offensive work done as well. I guess now that your main tank's dead, you might as well start putting that gun, uh, flipping that gun around and using some for the other purpose. Yeah, I mean, 38 pulled it up to 100 right there. That That's exactly what you need. Somebody needs to make a play. And now they finally have some points on the board in this match. And th this is just what they need. Moment Any amount of momentum is good. They're coalescing, so they're going to try and come in. Yeah. A, re -con a re contest coming in here inside does take no down way. commercial. But Firefight is falling right now. Luminous Fox is coming in quickly with Jerry Ozone on the back of that coalescence here. But kills are being traded out right now. And on point A, that is going to favor Firefight. But Nerf finds two. And just as I say it here, the Luminous Foxes take down a firefight, and that has got to hurt. Yeah, yeah, that that one that one hurts. It's something fierce. You, you don't look at see... the alts. Look at the alts coming up for Luminous right now. They're I... in a great spot. I mean, that d does not happen a lot, but being able to retake that, again, only using Coalescence, you have your most critical ults available, and the High Noon was used to no avail. And it's a tough spot here. Rage does have that Gravit, or the Gravit, or sorry, Graviton Surge. I'm still using Gravitic Flux, but Graviton Surge coming in there, and Rage does find two, including Cucumber, taking out a source of healing, source of damage goes down as well, and Booze does pop the Primal, trying to draw this out as much as they can. Carlton is taken down by Booze, but the kills are finally coming in for Firefight, and it looks like Firefight will indeed win this fight and take the point here. Four minutes and 15 seconds. They finally got some good momentum here, Ty. Can they keep this going? <laughs> you know, when, when Booze took out Carlton, I was like, are they coming back again? I mean, they had two ticks, so it was really just not likely. And now coming into the third second, there's no ults either, so it's going to be really hard for them to engage. They have to rely on pure mechanics. Sai has to get a Thrifty, or 30, sorry, has to find a big nade. Something like that has to happen for them to find a way into this point. And well, it's they are getting close to that that nano, and I have, oh, mm -hmm. that's a huge pick on the color form here. If they play it right, they get that nano coming in here. Commercial looking for the, uh, the de death blossom, and it's huge. Takes down two before Carlton's flashbang strikes, and that's massive for Commercial here. Pretty much ending the fight. Did we see 38 use that nano boost? We did, and that's unfortunate here for Firefight lacking some ultimate discipline and that's going to hurt them here we're at three minutes and 20 seconds it's still a lot of time but that one does hurt a little bit i mean i, I don't want to say it's over because it's absolutely not oh it's, it's far from that and, yeah, uh, and right, right now right. alt economy alt economy plays in the firefight hands of course they are sitting at but right now what it feels like is it feels like firefight are just bleeding out or not firefight yeah firefight are just bleeding out on the floor and they're having their necks snapped multiple times every fight by Luminous Foxes. It does not feel good for them. All right, Jerry Ozone finds Rage here. Firefight's going to try to get the res off, and they do, but Cucumber does take down Antagonize. Losing the main tank here, you got to figure this one's over, and they're peeling out now. But it's worth noting, they only burned the probably their weakest ultimate here in that Valkyrie, so they'll be coming back here pretty strong pretty quick. Noon. Noon's not great here into this into this comp. You know, the zombie comp has so many ways to dodge a Noon, so it's it's probably slightly worse than Valkyrie because Valkyrie's always great at cycling ults. But you know, it's definitely not one of their best ults. And coming in here, this is probably the best opportunity you've had to attack this point. You have the grab, you have the dragons, you're going to see the copy come out early. The copy does come out here as Booboo does take out 38 and nerf takes find it finds antagonize as well who's going to town on that winston not connecting with any or I'm sorry not connecting with any more targets but they don't need to as the rest of the blue foxes just continues to plow through it's a tough situation right now for firefight but they do have four ultimates coming back as carlton switches over to the doom fist and i i'll be honest with you i don't mind it i don't hate it doom fist is really strong into this point the only problem, though, is they're going into a zombie comp, which if this was the Sombra zombie comp, oddly enough, I'd feel better because you're not going into an Echo Reaper Monkey Diva. 
And here goes Antagonize going in deep right now. And Car again, Commer it doesn't matter because Commercial just wiped out yeah. the back line of player fight again. That's the second time they've done that. Yeah, this this is where you consider switching over to a Brig. Like, you're just getting dominated in the back line. You have no backbone because you switched off the Cassidy, and your Zarya is not getting any value from Bubbles. You're, you're going over to the Moira, which I don't agree with at all. I think the Brig is the much better swap here from the Mercy. And granted, you're going to have Valkyrie, but you already have most of your ults anyways. You don't need to do much cycling. And while I hate, hate Cassidy and... Oh, here Hondo. comes the... Here comes the bomb and fine Sai. Just a brutal, brutal beating being put on by Luminous here. Antagonize pops the Primal Rage into the Graviton. And here comes the, and there goes the Dragon Strike as well. Firefight pouring everything they got into this. Carlton trying to find Lucio, and they do. A big pick here as well, d the D.Va. I like some positive momentum for Firefight as Carlton punches their way through the boxes right now. But the answer comes in from Commercial and Jerry Ozone. Again, 38 taken down on the point by the Coalescence from Colorform, and there's 20 seconds left, and Firefight needs to find something, and they need to find it quick. And again, going over to the... They're going to be on Lucio Moira now, so they can contest, but Mercy Moira doesn't have good sustained point healing. I would much rather see a Brig Ana in that situation. I don't know why they're committing into these weird compositional choices. All right, and here we go right now. Last gasp for Firefight, trying to find a way to pull it back here. Psy on that tracer, looking for picks. But we do see Carlton come in, takes down Commercial. That's a big pickoff right now, but the copy does come in from Jerry Ozone onto the Diva and already up to the self-destruct. There it goes, as kills are starting to come in all in the favor right now of the Foxes. And Firefight in their last gasp here as the remake comes in from Jerry Ozone, taking Rage out of Mech. And that's just going to be all she wrote here for Firefight. They do get point one, but they're going to have a tough time here on defense against the Foxes. This is just so rough, man. This is... <sighs> I I have so little to say right now. It's, it's just... All right. I... I know I'm not providing the most riveting of insights onto what is happening here, but there's, it's just firefight. It feels like everything is going wrong for them right now. They're not playing good compositions. They're not playing especially well. And Luminous Foxes feel like they're all over it. Like this is a team look right now. They have the look of a discord tier team and a higher tier one at that. It, they're playing super, super well, and they're using their abilities super, super well. It feels like they always are in control of their ultimates, and they only use too many ultimates when they know they can stagger out a fight until the clock hits overtime, and it doesn't matter anymore. It feels like Luminous Foxes could not have more control right now, and Firefight, they're, they're just, they're looking dim. Well, Firefight's got to find an opportunity to bounce back. We've seen full holds on this map before. If there's any 2CP where you can full hold surprisingly easily, it's Anubis. So yeah. it's an opportunity now for Firefight to see what they can do. They come out, and it looks like they're bringing out the defense with the Doomfist and the Hanzo. They are sticking with that Doomfist here. 38 back on the Ana, Ace Laser sitting on the Brigida. So you do get the Brigida you were looking for. Commercial on the Widowmaker. Commercial, a fantastic Widowmaker, uh, has taken Roll Star this season on that uh, hit scan roll as well. So a very, very strong DPS player as Jerry Ozone looking for the hack target here, trying to find one, looking for the Ana. Did not go for the bait there with Ace Laser camping on the 38 there. But Booz right now is tasing all the way through Firefight's front line. And Carlton does drop trying to go into that room. Antagonized looking for any way to get the damage up onto, uh, onto the boxes here. But they are taking so much pressure. It's just far too much for 38 to be able to help heal through. And it's just the boxes right now are running roughshod through, uh, through Firefight. I, I, I gotta I gotta say this that DM from nerfed was so good making it so that 38 couldn't heal antagonize through the DM that is just so so good there like obviously I'm not gonna be like oh I never would have thought of that because of course I'm gonna think of that but it was so so perfectly timed he saw that antagonize was already low and he wasn't getting the most heals so he was gonna stay low on and then just perfectly starting the DM right when the heals go on to him, so that then Antagonize can't get healed at the perfect moment. It, and now they're switching over to Brawl. 
And they're on Cassidy Hanzo again, and this is... I do not count out Firefight. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Luminous Foxes with four ultimates setting up here. We're aggressive. And here we go. And, and, and Nerf gets cute and finds a way to pull it off. They get the big rematch kill as commercial on that Reaper just far too much. And that's the end of it for Firefight as they take this map here. Uh, Luminous Foxes 2-0 right now already on match point. This is the most dominant game I've cast all season. I don't think that it's hard for me to make that decision and opinion. That last fight looked good from Firefight. They made a great decision to go really deep, try and make a good play there, but they didn't see the remake from Nerfed, and that kills Sion the Hanzo, who's playing Hanzo to try and rush close. It just looks all over the place for Firefight right now, and I'm sure this play isn't terrible, but... It's just that feels like Lu it's not going to beat Luminous Foxes. Luminous Foxes just look incredible at this moment. Luminous Fox is definitely playing great, but we've seen crazy things before right now. We're going to be taking it into halftime here for uh, for this match. We'll be back in 10 minutes. We'll bring you map three here. Luminous Fox is up 2-0 against Firefight.
Welcome back, Tranquility. Right now, we are back from halftime. Luminous Foxes dominant early on in this match. They are up 2-0 against the six-seeded firefight. Luminous looking to punch their ticket to the lower bracket finals right now. It's been a tough spot so far for firefight. Ty, we've talked about this before. It's easy to get in these situations where you're down 2-0. Sometimes things just don't go your way. You lose points. You lose them bad. You lose maps. You lose them bad. Now, right now, Firefight, they're running antagonized on the main tank. Worth noting, their captain and main tank, Coconut, not here tonight. Definitely a pain for Firefight, no question about it. But, Ty, right now, it's all about the mental for Firefight. You, you, you can bounce back from these things. We've seen it before. So a hundred percent. I've played in harder matches that I've managed to reverse sweep. And it's all the first thing you need to do is figure out your problems. We just had a 10 minute halftime. And once you figure out your problems, that's where you let out all your tilt. Just like this is what has been going wrong. And then that's when you fix your mental. You got to do like a sort of half and half. First half, figure out what's going wrong. Second half, fix your mental. So as long as they handled their halftime correctly, this should definitely this is not out of this is definitely not out of the realms of a reverse sweep. Like I, I again, I've I've done harder reverse sweeps than this. This is definitely not out of the park yet. It's a tough spot for Firefight, nonetheless. Here they have a big mountain to climb, but anything is climbable if you can overcome that mental hurdle. Here they take it to King's Row. King's Row can be a big equalizer. It's a map of all about momentum, about or about that strong team play. So much with King's Row has been overanalyzed to oblivion about everything you could possibly run on this. We're gonna see brawl for both these teams, and you know that. Yeah, and I I, I kind of like what they're starting on right now. Tracer Cree or Tracer Cassidy, sorry. It's a it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting way to play the brawl. It's it's better than the comps they were running before. I'm gonna be straight up. I didn't like their comps earlier. This is this is a very runnable comp. It's not bad. They're going into a main sim as well, which is where the Tracer variant of the brawl really succeeds. You know, with the Cassidy where he can provide that backbone, and with the Tracer able to hunt down these TPs and break them. That leaves them with a fairly underwhelming brawl DPS in Symmetra. So you you can really mitigate the value that the unique pick from uh, Fire or Foxes are pulling out here. Boo's claiming the statue for himself, it seems, <laughs> uh, before we start the match. And right now, Firefight looking to get through. The wall comes out right away, antagonized in a tough spot. 38 did get the lamp out, though, so well mitigated there by Firefight as they push in quickly, antagonize, as we know, not the usual main tank, does go down here on the aggressive play, and it's a dominant first point hold here so far for Firefight, or sorry, for Luminous Foxes. A really good wall from Lynite to start off that fight and finishing it off, Cucumber found the critical damage to get a to help get eliminations. And even though Antagonize did fall early, he is building up to this Earth Shatter a little bit faster than the than his mirror on the other side. So if you can get that online and get a really good shatter coming up, then I then th that's that could be a ticket to go into this next this uh to go into first point. The rotation here to mitigate the use of that wall. Good rotation from Firefight, but Lynite and Commercial fine rage nonetheless. Losing that diva hurts a lot. Sai working their way in the back line here. Looking for an opportunity to maybe get on to color form here and try to get rid of some of that big potent healing that Luminous Foxes does have with this composition. Ace Laser looking the opportunity to speed them through here on this rotation. Rotation continues for Firefight. Trying to get up to the high ground here. The fight is on as Antagonize put charges in and is taken down here as the charge is mitigated by Booz. Booz dropped very low, almost taken down. Now is taken down by Carlton. Kills are being traded out here as Carlton fights two with a massive dead eye. The Cassidy right now doing work for Car Carlton. As I say that, they are dropped by Psy. Uh, but none, I'm sorry, by color form. But a big play there nonetheless. The trade is ongoing. Line at three HP and does manage to get back in the ice block. And it's just a little early on the pulse bomb there for 
for Sai. The fight is continuing on here. Firefight has control now. They have the reinforcements in. Huge block from Antagonize on his off roll there. Antagonize coming up big. Carlton does take down Booze. The, er, the self-destruct does come in from Nerf. Not enough to connect with anybody. Carlton continuing to put a lot of pressure on with that Cassidy. Carlton's aim is on point. And Carlton is finding the kills they need. Carlton, my goodness. Carlton has been a freak monster throughout the, this whole series, really. Like, out of all the players on Firefight, he has looked so good on every hero he has played so far. And not only that, but you force out both Tangled from the enemy team on first point. That gives you a genuine opening in two seconds if you can farm up this no another high noon, which Carlton definitely can. He's been doing so much work on the Cassidy. And you have the sound barrier and window to match the other side. That is also extremely critical. Right. It can be a big thing. Finally getting a good push here. If they can get a big pick early on here. They're down in ults right now, but not by a, a ton. As you see the air, as you see the boo is getting in behind with that teleport of a rage, finds the blizzard with that defensive matrix, and Carlton takes down Cucumber. The fight right now is on, and it's currently favoring Firefight, and the Earth Shatter is massive from Antagonize, and Firefight is putting out the flame of the Foxes. Antagonize has awoken. He has arrived, switching roles. I don't need any more of this DPS junk. I'm a Reinhardt main now, baby. That's how it feels when you when you ring for Reinhardt sometimes. But they did use a couple too many ultimates. But at the same time, even though the other side does have both support ultimates, you're in a really good position right here. Like you were saying earlier, the momentum is completely in Firefight's control. This is great from them right now. Control here. We see the uh, the amplification matrix pop. Cucumber does get antagonized. That's a big pick off early on, losing the main tank. But firefights and the rest of the team is answering the call right now. Side takes down Cucumber. Commercial spinning up to full strength on the Symmetra. Very low right now. Commercial Psy on that tracer, finding a ton of targets right now. Are you kidding me? Here we go. This is the firefight we expected to see at the start of this match. Oh, where, where did this come from? Booze barely gets back in time to save the objective. But where has this firefight been? I'm falling in love right now. They played so well for this point. And for this map in general, only a minute, only about two minutes left for them to get second. But they have the bomb. They're about to have the noon against only a symbol. If you can get that out, maybe go for a dry fight. Maybe you force a couple more ultimates. If you can eat this blizzard and negate the value from this wall, you basically have second. We've seen like, Rage do it once. Can they do it again oh, yeah. is the question. Here we go. Uh, Firefight looking to work their way around the right side of Everly and Sons there. Here we go. And we see Flame Strike come in as the battle is on right now on point B. Luminous looking for any chance they can to get this through. And Carlton! Carlton! <laughs> Carlton! <laughs> And that's all it takes right now. We need to see some miracle plays and the Earth Shatter from Antagonize. Where was this firefight on maps one and two? This is a completely different team now. I, I, said, I said it earlier. It, it, like, uh, I reverse-swept reverse harder matches. It's, it, it's not over until it's over. I, I had the wrong mentality this whole time. They have an old advantage ever so slight, but they have one. They have the beat, they have the bomb, they have the other bomb, and they have the window. This is easily a winnable fight. And here's the self-destruct in from Nerf, looking for any target they can find. Big Unlucky. from Nerf finds two, and the, but Commercial unfortunately finds the bottom of the foundry here. It's now turned around a little bit with that big DPS source taken out here. We see Luminous chasing down Carlton, but they do not take Carlton down. And Firefight's gonna reset, definitely the right choice here. A quick reset as commercial's also coming back, gonna get 6v6 Overwatch again on point C. It was a good stabilization there from Luminous Foxes. They, they've been, oh, that's unlucky. But they, they've been playing at a comp disadvantage throughout this whole map. And this is the point where oh, it's going to great start. wall there. Fantastic yeah. wall from Lionite there. Luminous starting to turn it around a little bit here. Perhaps turning on the Jets. Maybe they got a little complacent after going up 0-2 so dominantly. Firefight now coming back, though. Exactly what you needed to see. We talked about the mental reset, and here they go again. They got four alts coming into two. Actually, three with Lionite's Blizzard building up. 
We'll see what Firefight can do coming in here through the left side hallway, working their way back into the foundry. We see the ultimate with the flame strike does not connect with anybody. Oh, Self-destruct oh. goes in. Carlton again finds value with the dead eye, taking down Cucumber, but here's a massive blizzard from Lionite, and that is just all that they needed for Luminous. One ultimate, well, I guess two technically, because there was yeah. a sim wall invested, but really just one ultimate was all it took for Fire, or sorry, for Luminous, and that's going to turn Firefight back to spawn again. Good use of the blizzard, really well timed, really well placed. Rage unfortunately didn't catch that one. But it was still a good blizzard nonetheless. Now coming in here, you don't have any ult from Firefight. This is probably your last fight, so you have to make value from the cooldowns where you can. And we see the Earth Shatter come in blocked again by Antagonize, who was trying to get an angle and got punished for it badly, forced to retreat. We see a lot of damage coming through the amplification matrix. Ace Laser finds commercial with a huge boop. That's gonna be a big kill there, but Nerf's got a big self-destruct. Color form finds Carlton, major source of damage down with that Cassidy out of the picture here. And Booz, however, is also looks to be resetting right now as well. Back to the spawn room for you. Cucumber, though, again, my goodness, the boops are coming in from both these Lucios right now. But Sai finds Lucio as well. And here comes the sound barrier in. Another eat and or, or nerf takes out Sai's pulse bomb, but Sai finds Booz. That's a huge kill right there. And the amplification matrix just puts the damage out on the Luminous. And here we go for Firefight. Can we get another big, big Deadeye? Carlton ace on that Cassidy so far. The opportunity is now for Carlton. Can they get a big ultimate here? Trying to get nerfed perhaps out of that out of that mech. We see that coming in. There it is. Finds Car uh, and, uh, sorry, finds nerf. Takes them out of the mech. Self-destruct now about to come in. Rage what? finds two. That's a big pickoff right there. And antagonize on the on the ball as well. But a huge blizzard freezes three of firefight here. Color form finds 38. Big source of healing down, but it's not enough. Oh. And Firefight with the full pull on King's Row. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Firefight are infernal right now. They have awoken, their eyes filled with flame. This is just one of the greatest. Even if they lose this map, they have put up such a good fight from this map forward. No matter what happens, they can at least sit on that. And coming in here, even though they were playing with, a, again, a comp disadvantage on third, they were making it work. Psy was doing so much work on the Tracer. They finally found their footing here. I've been doing a lot of F alliteration, and I'm freaking happy about it. <laughs> Fantastic, in my opinion there, Ty Munster. Fantastic. Uh, gotta say, also, Antagonize finally stepping up that main tank game there. They really, for the first time, I feel like they absolutely answered everything that boosts throughout them. And uh, mm -hmm. it was a big difference maker in this, no question about a it. Difference. And, yeah, I, yeah, difference. Hmm, interesting. I like onions. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough f words. All right, all right, all right. It's the family show. So, <laughs> all right. Luminous Fox is now back on offense. They dropped all three points here, but Kings Row is one of those is... maps where so much can happen. We see the Symmetra. We see the May. Yeah, this is Five. weird. Okay, never mind. Okay, I saw the wins and I was like, is this like just bad six man? But they're gonna they're just gonna stick on the same comp they were on and <laughs> I, I kinda they're bad Firefight is on a standard brawl. Firefight is on a standard brawl and a big wall comes out here. Commercial spins around trying to get some damage out, but there's so much now coming in. The lamp is invested here for both teams. And Booz takes down Carlton right now. Cassidy down for Firefight. Look at all the low health bars right now for Firefight. Luminous looking for a big answer here. Nerfs taken out of their mech, but Commercial's beam is full strength and is on perfect tracking. The Commercial, all the damage they need already up to their, already up to their Symmetra wall. And uh, that's a dominant first point take there from Luminous. Booz began being bullied really by firefight but it ended up not working out quite as well as it could have i hope you like what i did there i i, I was a fan <laughs> so firefight just lost a little bit of control once they lost the lamp advantage color form managed to get slightly more value out of the immortality field then thir 38 in that fight and that's really won them the fight good ball here and a remake kill 
Nerfed has found multiple remake kills, getting very cheeky with that. I'm surprised we haven't seen Firefight punish that very much, but Commercial right now is really doing all the punishing for Luminous. Uh, just absolutely raining in the damage on that Symmetra. That is a big source of damage, not being targeted out much by Firefight, and that is hurting them all sorts. Uh, you see Nerf stagger out Carlton at the very end. They should be able to clear this corner and probably the next corner here. It's going to be tough for Firefight to bounce back. It's important things in a Brawl Mirror is the May Blizzard farming matchup. Sai has been clearly ahead for this map. He was about 90, or they were about 90% while the Knight was at 30% to start off with. Now coming in here, even though the gap has closed, there is still enough of a gap to maybe this can find some value. And we see the Blizzard in from Sai and several targets frozen the lamp in as well. And that lamp did all the great work there. Fantastic support play from Color Form and Cucumber, keeping the front line of Luminous up through that barrage of damage. That was great work there. Both Cucumber and Color Form doing a ton. We saw Color Form also use their amplification matrix to boost their healing to keep the team up through that. That's just great support play from Color Form. So Psy switched over to the Tracer now, which I think if they did so earlier, it would have been a much better swap. But switching over now, I'm not 100% agreeable with, but... That's a good D.Va bomb, yeah. and that's, oh, that's a big answer right now. Firefight needed to do something different, because what they were doing was just not working. Uh, Commercial finds themselves at the end of the rocket hammer of Antagonize. Firefight finally with a little bit of stabilization here. Uh, they could definitely lose another fight here without too much worry, but uh, the ultimate economy right now is so firmly in the Fox's favor. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty tough right now for Firefight, but we'll see if they can answer. They've done There's some pretty camp. Sai just, just with with no mercy whatsoever. Just whoa, oh boy. Okay, Sai. That was close. That was close. We've seen Nerf get really freaky with those with those bombs or with those rematch kills. <laughs> that was close. Uh, we see the uh, good answer right now from Firefight as they continue to push through. Great tracer play from Sai. I, I mean, who, who cares if you have an old disadvantage of Sa If let's just go spawn camp their Symmetra. You know, he was slightly staggered last fight. I'll just, I'll just two clip him as Tracer. What could possibly go wrong? And plot twist, nothing, nothing whatsoever. Sai goes to the back line and just, just kills the Symmetra right off the bat. And we see the both the Sim Wall and the Amplification Matrix put in by Luminous. Firefight peels back to try to mitigate some of that damage and some of the advantage from that wall. No! And Rage with their second E of this match tonight. Huge from Rage, and they take down Booze as well. Carlton with the Deadeye. That Cassidy has been fantastic for Carlton tonight, and they find Commercial as Luminous decides it's now is the time to find the bottom of the foundry. Yeah, Carlton is Cassidy, a spell of magnificence this map. It has been absolutely glorious from him. And, and Sai switching over to the Tracer, he was... They were all right on May, but this Tracer pick has just... The team plays around it in such a different way. It lets them be more confident. They've already held third for a minute and a half, almost two minutes now. And they have a support ult advantage. Nice window. Here we go. Good window right there. They have a little bit of a support advantage. The sound barrier put in by Cucumber and answered by Ace Laser as well. Both lambs also put in. The healing cooldowns are out. Now it all comes down to who gets the kills. And Sai finds the first one on a commercial. Losing that Symmetra damage. But what? what? Massive shatter bomb set up by Boost. Boos and Nerf. And that's a tough spot now for Firefight. They need to find a quick answer and get a quick reset in here before that cart can round that corner. We see the sound barrier get in and does not find any. I'm sorry, it's not the sound barrier. Pardon me. That is a pulse bomb. Did not find the target. By trying to get out with their life. Can they do so? They oh. do not. That's a big kill right there for Fire, Fire Bait for Luminous. They're trying to push through here. There's about two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. And Commercial finds Ace Laser. We see the stun come out, and it's just too much right now. Too much Luminous Foxes. And here's this Blizzard from Lionite making up for their eaten Blizzard earlier. And right now, all Firefight can do is hope to draw to stay alive in the playoffs. This is totally drawable, though. Like, they can learn their lesson from their first point defense. They played so, so well on that third point. They were finding the perfect amount of value from most of their heroes. It's just, it's so hard to hold for more than three minutes. And they did hold for three minutes. They did a really, really good hold there, Firefight. And I, I'm just... 
this is, I believe, the first time I've ever seen Firefight play, so they they did leave a pretty bad first impression in my mouth, but it has been erased by this map. They, they've they been playing it so close with Luminous Foxes, who, throughout the whole series, have been playing phenomenally. It, it, it does feel like they... It doesn't feel like they've... Like, Luminous Foxes has fallen down to their level. It feels like they just all of a sudden caught up, which is the most important thing here. Because if Luminous Foxes just fell down, they could easily just flip the switch and come back into it and just dominate. But it feels like Firefight are, have just pull, flicked the switch to, re, to get to the level they need to be playing at. All right, right now, here we go again with uh, this one here on defense, antagonize and leading the charge for Firefight. 10 seconds to go, two minutes and 18 seconds. Firefight needs to draw this one if they want to stay alive. Luminous looking to shut out Firefight here and punch their ticket to the lower bracket finals. Here we go. Luminous coming out of the gate right now, rocking the same comp. It's been working for them all map. They're going to do it again. Carlton now on the Reaper instead. We see a Telly. That was, that was an interesting <laughs> That was interesting. Uh, did not go the way I think they expected it to. The, we, see, uh, we see the Immortality Field already put in by 38 and already dropped. Now put in by the Luminous Foxes. But the kill is in onto both main tanks now. It's going to be who puts out the rest of the damage. DPS players need to come up big. Carlton in the back line on that Reaper, not finding any targets. And commercial up to full strength on that Symmetra, putting in too much damage. And that might be it here for Firefight, their last gasp here. We see the Immortality Field again for 38, and 38 is taken down. And that's just too much commercial right now. We see the Wrecking Ball in from Antagonize is dropped. And that's going to be the, the, the last trickle here as Psy comes in and it's all over. Firefight is done. Luminous Fox is going to the lower bracket finals. I mean, if you're going to get 3-0'd, you want to be 3-0'd close. And I think that Firefight did their best. Like like you said, they didn't have their captain, their leader, the heart of the team. You, if you and Having that be your main tank especially, not having that player can make it really, really hard to win these sort of series. And they made it close at the end there. They, they did their best at the last moments, and their best just... Barely, barely was not good enough. If they were playing to that level that whole time, I definitely think there was a chance they'd come out with a W here even. It would you have got, been really, really hard, but they could have done it. You got to wonder what could difference it could have been if they had their full roster tonight. It's a shame I they did not, but unfortu that. unfortunately for Firefight, that is the end of the road for them. But for Luminous Foxes, they punched their ticket to that lower bracket final. A huge push there for the, uh, I'm sorry, a huge push there for Luminous Foxes after kind of a weird, rough season. Uh, but they'll be taking on next week either the Jersey Boys or Palm Beach Poggers in that lower bracket finals. So that should be a really, really good match either way. Yeah, that's not that's not an easy <laughs> match, that one. That's... It's going to be really, really hard for them to wake up and be like, all right, let's do this. But it's worth I mean, noting they already lost to Palm Beach Poggers earlier yeah. in this playoffs, too. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's the same Luminous Foxes that we just saw tonight because this Luminous Foxes looked like an absolute monster, just a group of absolute monsters, really. Like they, they were, it looked like an all star roster all around from them. And it's going to be hard to pick an MVP from that side. Yeah, in my opinion, I think I have to look at a, a huge difference maker. I'm going to go with color form. Oh, on yeah. That, yeah, the flex support play from color form throughout the night was fantastic. They were ahead on pretty much every aspect in regards to ultimate charge. Uh, they were having, I think, a little bit more impact with their uh, with their ampl or, uh, immortality fields, with their amplification matrix. I think color form has been a fantastic flex support all season. And I think flex supports deserve a little bit of love. I mean, I disagree. I think that flex supports already get enough love. <laughs> there's a, there's another part of that role though, that deserves a lot of love, a lot more love than it gets. And that's the main supports because cucumber was kind of a freak throughout this series. <laughs> he, he was getting really good boop kills really just overall. It felt like he was always on the right cross fades as well. Really, really good play from Cucumber, but overall, it felt like such a such a group effort from Luminous Foxes to get them to that point at the end there that it's it, it's kind of hard to pick an MVP from their side because they just played so well as a unit. Mm -hmm. 
No question about it. You know, uh, it, Foxes looked fantastic tonight. When they're at full strength, they're a very oh, scary yeah. team. And uh, whoever they play, I would uh, I would also be concerned about them. So, uh, and but the- sorry, you you go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. I insist. All right, all right, I insist. Wow, thank you. But I I I think one small thing that's really really important that most people don't think about is if you're firefight. You can't put any of the blame. Whatever happened to their usual main tank, I don't remember what you said his name was. Coconut. Coconut. Okay. Whatever happened to Coconut, you can't blame this loss on his absence because there's absolutely things everybody here – anybody here could have done better. And I'm not saying Firefight were bad. I'm just saying that not only can you not put blame on him because – you guys could have played better, but also the amount of resentment you can build but in your team by doing things like that is horrible. You cannot be doing that to yourselves. Next season, if you want to come in here next season, what you have to do is say, we could have been playing better, and while it's unfortunate that we didn't have our IGL, we still could have had a better chance of winning this series, even though we didn't have him. And while they did put up a great fight on map three, I think maps one and two ha- do have a lot of material for you to look to look at and realize what you did wrong. Those are very vulnerable maps as well. And I'm really excited to see what they come up, come into next season with. I agree. I'm excited to see it, but next season is next season. And for this season, the road has ended for firefight, but luminous will carry on in the next week. We got a lot of good matches coming up this remainder of this week. We have battalion taking on dirt tomorrow night and we have on thursday we are bringing you the discord to your feature match that's mark three taking on mechanized should be both fantastic matches all these teams vying for a spot in that lower bracket finals punch their ticket into the championship bracket you're starting up in two weeks we are almost there guys we are almost there it is almost the end of season seven but here we go Tonight, we do not have a Coach's Corner, so make sure to tune in tomorrow. Pick up your channel points. And as always, we appreciate any support. Type exclamation point Discord in the chat. Join our Discord. If you want to hit that heart, you can follow us. You can catch the next uh, next one. Make sure you punch that bell as well. And if you're interested, you can also subscribe to the channel. Uh, we certainly appreciate your support. But for everybody here, special thanks to Laggy Sun on the uh, on the production and Time Monster as well, lending the color casting. Fantastic, as I'm always. Really that was pretty cool. All right, I'm Mr. <laughs> I'm Mr. Yeti. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>